What's up, nerdlings? Hello, nerdlings. Hey, do you recognize the boxes behind us? It's game time. I just can't get it. What am I going to do with her? I guess I need to read more comics. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> uh, by the way, most of these boxes are already full because she's been going nuts with comics. Is that a bad thing? Mm, uh, for the wallet, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do surprise a lot of people when I'm the one who goes over to the comics and I'm the one thumbing through them and he's not. <laughs> There's, I get a lot of weird looks from a lot of guys. Apparently that's not normal. I guess not. <laughs> uh, so we have just some uh, some fun comics that we've been picking up. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't really fall into any particular category. Yeah. So uh, these are mostly just kind of, you know, another set of fun pickups. Because why else? not? Yeah. Yeah. So we got a uh, Masters of the Universe. Looks like that is issue number one. Um, growing up. I, of course, loved the cartoon. Yeah, the cartoon I had a couple of the of toys fun. and everything. I was more of a, sh of a she were girl, but I did love watching He-Man, because I love Tila. And, and the, the sorceress, sorceress yeah. my favorite, <laughs> loved her, because she not only did she change into a bird, which was really cool, but when she was not a bird, she was a human, she still looked bird-like. Yeah, that with very that cool bird cape. outfit. Yeah, so yeah. And uh, I'm not sure how long this series went on. I haven't done any research on it, but I was mostly picking them up for nostalgic purposes. I know that she really liked the way Tila looked on yeah. this one, issue yeah. number two. Yeah, because, she looks uh, really cool. I, I think this is a more appropriate looking outfit because she's got a skirt on, yeah. not just wearing a bathing suit. It, it seems more practical. Yeah. But uh, we also had a very cool looking uh, Evelyn. Evelyn. I thought it was Evelyn. Your name's Evil Lynn? And that is issue number three. So, again, I'm not sure how far the series went, but I'm very curious to check that out. And this is actually um, issue number one. I can't remember. I think that this issue number one and this one, I believe that these are different. Uh, are they variant covers? Not variant covers, different oh, comic di like series. A different series. Uh, this one looks to be MV Creations, and this one's good old image, which. Oh, okay. I guess, uh, are those image as well? So, this is, yeah. should have been, this one was one, two, and three. Yeah. And then this is, uh, a different one. A different one, one. A different one, one. <laughs> Tell you what, between the two of us trying to collect so many comics, we have learned the hard way that sometimes it gets so confusing finding yes. comics. Because then you're like, oh, it's number three. I have five threes. Is this the right five? Right. Five three? You have to figure out, is it a variant on the cover or yeah. is it part of a different series? Because uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch was giving you some trouble yes, with that for a while. Yes, because there was a four-part series and a 12-part series. And I couldn't figure out which one was which at first. <laughs> but uh, thankfully, though, he does have a comic book app, which I highly recommend everyone getting. CLZ Comics. It's really good. It really does help split things up into their own little series and everything. And I recommend that for everybody because then you don't have to worry about making duplicates. And just FYI, they do not sponsor us or endorse us in any way. No, we just like them. But we like them. <laughs> However, I will say, if somehow this video gets out to the CLZ guys, could you please, please yes. do a tabletop or a yes, board game please. app? Because uh, the one that we have, it's from another company, and we, we don't, don't like really that. like it. It's lost our whole collection a couple of times. Mm -hmm. We've got a good collection, so CLZ, get on top of that. But they not only do comics, they also do um, video games and movies, which yes. we also have the video game one and the movie one. It's, it's very helpful, so we don't ever pick up our duplicate stuff. So uh, keep them with... Uh, he-Man, here's another number one, and this is a DC. <laughs> and so, uh, Tila is a little bit more uh, risque than even in the cartoon. Apparently, apparently everyone had a, a hand in the Masters of the Universe at one point or another, and this one is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, so at least you have that little bit of a title variation. Yeah. Now, keeping with the DC theme... I picked up my own... Masters of the Universe, DC uh, Universe versus Masters of the Universe, because it's got my Wonder Woman on the cover. So, hey, you know, so, she's, oh. fight yeah, she's fighting Tila. So, you got a little cat fight yeah. there. So, hey, 
I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to see uh, who's going to be stronger, the Amazon princess Amazon. or the Eternian princess. Uh, Amazon, duh. And then uh, more DC picked up some He-Man and Thundercats crossovers. This was, uh, oh. there's a number four. I don't know the, why I'm always compelled to do that whenever I hear Thundercats. The muscles on lion and He-Man are pretty ridiculous here. I'm pretty sure they have muscles that don't actually exist. <laughs> I think he's got like an, a 25 pack. Uh, they used to do that a lot on cable back in the day. <laughs> I know that. So that was number four. Here's number three. And then number five with uh, Mumra and Skeletor Mumra. looming over Castle Grayskull. <laughs> but these will be a lot of fun to read, I bet, because it's bringing two, you know, semi-great 80s franchises together. <laughs> yep. Awesome choice. And you know you're going to have that point where uh, He-Man and lion are fighting. You get to see who comes out on top. He-Man versus lion Nuff said. No. So after all those He-Man comics, what do you have? Well, I thought there's a little bit too much testosterone going on in here. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so I um, am really, really getting into the Grimm's fairy tale comics. They're really, they're gorgeous. The art is really pretty. All of the ladies um, are very voluptuous. So men, if you want something fun to look at that maybe your girlfriends might, girlfriends or wives might not yell at you because it's not porn. We've got, you know, they're very, very gorgeous. <laughs> All of the art on the inside is really pretty. And the storylines are kind of weird because, like, sometimes they're, they take place in the now and the, someone is telling you about the weird story or it's a weird take on the stories. Like, I was reading a, a Little Mermaid one where it starts off in the real world and she's telling you about the Little Mermaid story and it has a lot of different variations on it. And then the Little Mermaid... Hmm. Ursula Witch actually shows up in the real world. So yeah, it's they're they're very interesting. So don't fluff them off because like, oh, they're Grimm's fairy tales. Because I actually, I, I don't like this. Um, of course, our comic cave never does this to me because our comic cave guys are really awesome. But I've gone into a few comic shops and asked, do you guys have any Grimm's fairy tales? And I get almost laughed at because they think, oh, you're one of those. You don't read real comics. These are real comics. I mean, they're gory. They're bloody. They're... I mean, these are intense, and they're really pretty on the inside. So, I mean, there's just a lot going on with these. And this one's a Wonder Wonderland, right? Yeah, that's the Wonderland one. There's a Warlord of Oz, not this, Wizard. This was one that I picked yeah. out. Because uh, when I saw this, I'm a sucker for anything yep. to do with Oz. And we got Dorothy going on down here. So, and I believe that's Glinda. I was, white I was very outfit. happy to find that one. And just real quick... Uh, Finally found a few issues, not all of them. It's of hard to find these. Freddy versus Jason versus Ash. Yeah. So there's issue one. You've got my main man, Jason Voorhees, on there. I think we've shown some of the other ones off in some of our Friday the 13th um, videos. So you've seen some of these, but they're kind of hard to come by. And then uh, number three with Ash on the cover. And uh, number, looks like four right here with... Freddy taking the spotlight this time around. Yeah. And then number five. Freddy and there's, man. There's six of these, so I'm missing numbers two and six of this series. And I really want to get those. I do want to say, they do a fantastic job of taking the three characters and interweaving them. Uh, you know, it's kind of a slight spoiler, but I gotta throw it out there because it was so thoughtful. There is a moment in this series where uh, Ash falls asleep, falls asleep and then Freddy gets into his dreams Ash is dreaming about his hand he has it back but then it starts growing Freddy claws so he cuts the hand off like he does in the movie and it starts skittering around on those claws and it's like attacking him and it's like that's so clever it's like oh man yeah. that's what I would love to see if magically they ever did that but unfortunately as any of you Army of Darkness and Ash Williams fans know Bruce Campbell has hung up the chainsaw for good because they did not get enough support for season three of Ash vs. Army of Darkness, or Ash vs. Evil Dead. Yeah. So, shame on you guys. I'm going to call I Don't Believe It. Because didn't he do that before? 
Didn't he yeah, say he but would, I think the Ash do, or Bruce don't call me Ash Campbell and I'll never be I, Ash again. I think if he tried to come back after another twenty plus years to play Ash, he might not really you have know, it. In you him. know, I, I saw him on the Hotep. He 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 does okay in an old folks' home. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, just kind of to real quick show off as far as the crazy crossovers go, you have. Xena, Warrior Princess, with Army of Darkness, which is fantastic because you're getting Bruce Campbell's Ash, as well as... Autolycus! <laughs> which is how I know Bruce Campbell. I had no idea he did anything other than Autolycus. And I love Autolycus. Uh, just FYI, my Bruce Campbell will always be Briscoe County Jr. <laughs> and going along with the Xena, and to show you that I am a sucker for anything Oz related, you have this wonderful. <laughs> Not that you would have got it anyway, because cover. it's Army of Very Darkness. True. You would have got it anyway, but it was almost like they were like, "How can we make Mr. Weston, you know, uh, buy our comic like 100 percent?" It's like it's <laughs> Army of Darkness. It's Xena. I'm already sold. You've already struck oil. Stop, Stop digging. digging. Stop digging. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, uh, with Ash going up all kinds of monsters, you know, even though these are heroes, but when he was going up against the monsters, he probably could have used some help from someone else in the monster slaying business. That would be a Van Helsing. And uh, let me just say, Ash would have had a lot of fun hanging out with his Van Helsing. This is actually what prompted me to start the... Um, uh, for Grimm's Fairy Tales was he showed it to me he's like hey look here's a Dracula and Van Helsing and everything and I was like what and then I saw that it's a Grimm's Fairy Tale and then I started looking more looking for the the rest of the series and that's when I started noticing how pretty the rest of them were and started picking them up so I probably would say I will get all of the Grimm's Fairy Tales I really like those they're really good and including the variant covers I don't know about the variant covers it just because there's like four of each comic. Four variant covers. Nuts. And some of them are even like con exclusive ones. So I think it might be one of those if the cover looks cool, I might get it. And if it's for a decent price, I might get it. But I'm not going to go after like a $25 variant cover just Fair to complete enough. the collection. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so she's a pretty cool looking Van Helsing. Well, you know, I mean, if that's versus Dracula. Here's Ash versus uh, Vampirella. A little Vampirella here. And by the way, I have to note, I love Isn't she, like, chibi this looking? She's cover. Really cute. Yeah. Look how hyper cute They're Vampirella so adorable. is. And, and she's the got way blood she's on just her smiling back at Ash. <laughs> and the, the shotgun blast that's shaped like a heart. Oh, they love each it's other. It's so adorable. It's totes adorbs, guys. Totes now, adorbs. The next one that I want to show, I just want to say for a while, I was. Just mining away at the Army of Darkness and Evil Dead comics. I felt like I was finding them all the time. And then it just hit this dry spell. And for months, I have not been able to find anything. The last thing I had found was actually that brand new Kiss versus Army of Darkness. And so this I found very, very recently after that dry spell of not finding anything Army of Darkness related. So here you have Army of Darkness versus Reanimator. And, uh, Why not? He's just gonna fight everybody. I Pretty soon think we're gonna find so. him fighting the X Men and Aquaman and Superman and. I mean, he he went up against the Marvel zombies, so yeah. why not? Yeah. Care Bears. <laughs> Ash versus Care Bears. Let's Ash see. versus Mario. Oh, what's she oh, doing? Wow. It's awful. <laughs> My hey. My impression? No, the okay, idea like, hey. of him, the idea of a chainsaw wielding man going after Mario is Cutting awful. Cutting down all the mushrooms. <laughs> Those are people. Oh my gosh, that sounds more Winnie so, the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, guys, let us know if uh, if you've checked out any of these comics, the Grim Fairy Tales. Uh, definitely let Lady Lacey yeah. know if there's anything in particular that you like from the Grim Fairy Tales. Yeah. Maybe certain stories that she should go Tell after next. Tell me what I next. should look out for. Because like I said, I'm going to get them all, but I do read them. So let me know if I should you know, find this one especially because it's a really good series or whatnot. So, And uh, let me know if you've checked out any of the Army of Darkness stuff. Whether it's Freddy vs. Jason versus Ash or if it's Vampirella, Reanimator, Xena. Care Bears. <laughs> Whatever you have. I'm going to laugh if somebody in the comments are like, oh, trust me, I've got the care Yeah, uh, There probably is. <laughs> well, guys, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like. 
and leave some comments down below about your comic taste, what you yes. like. And uh, we've got a notification bell that sometimes lets you know when we put new stuff up. If you're new to the channel, ring a ding ding. <laughs> subscribe because we are always putting new stuff up. And follow us on Facebook and like it. No, wait, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Do all that stuff, all those social medias, because we always <laughs> let you know over there if uh, we've got videos popping up and what we're up to and pictures and and all that other good fun stuff. So check us out. All right. Well, uh, let's let's get to work on this uh, Ash versus Care Bear script and send it into who hey, do we need to send this if to. If there's any artists Dynamite out there, Entertainment. Any of our our followers out there, if you're artists. I so want to see an Ash versus <laughs> just just a cover, just a cover. You know, I don't need a whole comic, just a cover. I think that would be hilarious. Bye, nerdlings. See you, nerdlings.